Hello, we are the Joseph Whitaker Roboteers and we're here to show you what, believe, what we believe will help assist people through natural disasters. Humanitarian aid is the act of people helping other people during or after a crisis. This can include countries donating money to help improve healthcare and infrastructure. As you can see, this is an example of humans helping humans through a crisis. This image is taken by Daniel Dickinson for the BBC. The purpose of this image was to promote food donations and make people aware how people can help. But what if we could come up with a way to solve these problems with technology? But before we can solve these problems, we need to see the level of disasters. Here is an example of a tragic event that happened in Haiti in 2010. An earthquake with a 7.0 magnitude hit Haiti, killing 200,000 innocent people and leaving millions homeless. This was an example of a worst case scenario, and here is another disastrous incident. On the 26th of 2004, only a day after Christmas, a huge tsunami hit Indonesia, killing a horrific total of 230,000 to 280,000 people. Waves peaked at 30 metres, making this horrific event one of the deadliest in the world. Now we have shown you the worst case scenarios, here's a solution. This is Animal. Animal can climb relatively tough terrain. Here's him in action. As you can see, he can tackle sand and small obstacles such as twigs and sticks. This camera is LiDAR and records temperature images and scans the environment. Animal can even go in water. As you can see, he doesn't sink in the sand and isn't changed by the waves. Here he is going up some dunes. Another feature is him being able to climb small hills and drop first aid packages by tilting himself sideways. And lastly, he can see in the dark with the LiDAR. But there are a few plot problems, such as steep hills, speed, and deep water. And that's when we thought of our solution. Drones. The main improvement was drones so they can go over rivers with ease, simply cross any terrain, and even carry a massive 15 kilograms. So we decided our proposal should be drones. With our new idea of drones, we researched the necessities a family would need for a few days. We chose to use a 20 litre bucket to place all the products that we have chosen, and we made our own life example. So the first thing is the bucket course, which has a, it has a message on the front of it for the recipients saying about how they're in, they aren't alone and they can always contact people. Um, another thing that, um, another thing. <laughs> um, something else that is a huge issue is war. Um, so we found these um, safety blankets uh, that can keep you warm for forever. Um, and we'll come back to him later and see how warm you feel. The way this works is the heat is reflected backwards onto the victim. <laughs> okay, not too much of a victim. The other thing is ponchos. In theory, the colder you get is because of the, like, the wetter you get, the colder you get. So this would prevent that problem. Uh, then we found something called a live straw, which is really useful because one of the major issues is water and it being dirty. Um, so we we found this, and um, this can clean out um, one ninety nine point nine 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 percent of bacteria. So we tried this in things such as hot chocolate, coffee, and even soapy water. The way you do this is you attach the um, straw onto the end, and then and you drink through this part here. Also, to clear out the filter, which is inside of it, you just blow out at the end, and that. Have you clear. tried it? Yes, in like hot chocolate and things like that, and it was um, it was really effective. Yeah. Yeah, it cleared um, the taste of it, and especially in the hot chocolate, it didn't taste of chocolate at all. It just tasted of soapy water, mm. soapy water in soap, and also <laughs> yeah. regular water. <laughs> Is a thing. So another thing would be, um, I think food is a massive issue, and the most sustainable food to sign up is pasta. 
Um, although plastic may be heavy and also have um, consumes quite a lot of space, it is probably the best and it, it obviously it expands inside. So um, another thing that we found um, was some matches. Um, and they're the kind of matches that can even go in water and stay lit. Uh, this was great for if it's raining and they need food quickly. Also, um, we found a camping stove and the stove top. <laughs> the stove top's just, um, it fans out and it, um, the gas comes through it in, and the flames come out of the gas. Here it is. So it fits into this small container. It's perfect. It expands and it's just the right amount of, um, it's just the right size to keep the pan on. Good. Um, so this pan, um, the handles fold out um, to make the handle um, and this will be what we cook the pasta in. And because of the, the water, we can just put that in here because it's clean and then we can cook the pasta. Yeah. We also found some um, basic cutlery, which, um, and also you can use this um, stove top as a lid. Uh, then we just have energy bars that are really high in oats and honey and things like that for a really good source of sugar. Also, nougat bars. These are probably the most sugary thing I know of. They contain 400 calories each, so these should boost up your glucose levels. Um, again, with the sugar and something for a comfort is things like hardboard sweets. Uh, they last a long time, are full of sugar, um, and can provide happiness to some, some people. One thing that they'll be huge short of is basic healthcare. The medical infrastructure will be completely down in areas in, the, in crisis. So in this first aid kit, there's basic things such as bandages, and there's gloves so that you can't contaminate, and antiseptic wipes, and plasters as well. Um, one of the major things we have is this radio. Um, it doubles as a torch and is solar panelled um, and wind up. This means they won't need um, any form of ele electricals. Also, we need a radio so they can check the weather, so they know whether to take shelter or not. It also charges any phone, mm. which is what we're coming on to now. The phone is what we've chosen to use as basic. So it, they can't take advantage of having a phone. Although phoning family members to let them know is all right, there are is quite important. It's not vital. You need to contact the World Critical Communications Service. So on the front of this phone is a basic number for all of the um, emergency contact numbers for the world's ten most wait ten mo ten countries that are most likely to have a natural disaster. Um, and then the last thing for our bucket, we have teddies. Um, so the kids, if they have any children, they're going to be pretty upset because of um, their homes and their families being upset as well. Uh, so we thought that would be a great addition. Um, and as you can see, we have a solution to, to a massive problem. We live in a world where people are dying all around us. We have children from the garden and people reducing to crime as they don't have enough money to survive. This is why we need to come together as one and help those in need. How would you feel if you were in this situation? Let's go back to Robbie. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> uh, hi. It's warm in there. Yeah. Uh, what? Keeps you warm. Um, Windproof as well. Uh, we believe that together with um, our idea we can make an impact. Thank you. Say thank you, chaps. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much. That was excellent.